Conditions. Cold and icy outside. Well, most of us would snuggle up in front of the fireplace. Others, though, are a little more adventurous. KWWL's Danielle Wagner shows us. Here I go, boys. Climbing this silo, yes, silo of ice, is just another day at the office for Don Briggs. Obviously a little bit uh, chilly, you know, below zero temperatures are chilly. We like to have the temperatures right around 25, 20, between 25 and 35. Okay. For five years, Briggs has taught an ice climbing class at the University of Northern Iowa. This is one of those classes that Students, I'm always asking them, you know, how many other classes do you stay late for? You know, they want to stay and climb. Andy Rowland graduated last May, but he still comes back on the weekends to ice climb with instructor Briggs. I'm not one that sits inside and watches TV. You know, I've got to be active and have something doing, something fun and exciting, and it's just, just really enjoy it. This climb is at Rusty Lie Masters Farm near Cedar Falls. The silo is about 80 feet tall, and the ice goes up 65 feet. Briggs uses garden hoses to ice up the silo. So we pull it up by pulley system, okay. and we spray with just shower heads on the end of that uh, garden hose. With ice on the silo, climbers make their way to the top. Everyone I spoke with out here says they're not worried about any dangers with the ice climbing. They say it's really just a lot of fun. More of the danger is down here for us. We have to watch out for falling ice. Climbers say it's definitely cold, which affects the ice. It's very brittle because it's obviously we got some very cold temperatures. But not cold enough to keep them inside. You get up you know, 50 feet on the silo and the wind's howling, it chills down a little bit, but you know, you're so focused on the climb that it doesn't really affect you all that much. Don Briggs definitely doesn't mind the weather. It's great up there. Huh? All part of a day's work, but not even Briggs considers his job work. Lonely.